it's Sunday and that means I reset and get ready for the next week and part of that schedule means planning next week. So get your pens, paper, notion, whatever it is that you do and let's plan together. So I'm going to explain how I use my weekly spread. This is a spread I created last year and towards the end of the year and I've brought it forward and I'm really loving how this is helping me plan my day. So the very first thing I do is I write down the important things that I need to do um, that are not necessarily a specific day. So it's something I want to do this week, but it doesn't have a certain day. So for example, I like to do my hair at least once a week, like straighten it, curl it, put it up nicely. Um hair mask that sort of thing so I do my hair once a week but I don't actually have a set day on when I do that um again I have to exfoliate well I don't have to but I like to I like to exfoliate typically I've been doing this like I've noticed I've been doing this on Sundays but I still put it here just in case <laughs> but I suppose I could put it under Sunday um, what else do I do? I do gratitude. Um, so like I write down what I'm grateful for. Sometimes I do it on a certain day. Sometimes I just do it at the end of the week and just like write everything that I'm grateful for for that week. It just depends, but I like to keep track of it. Um, and then I put podcast because I like to listen to a podcast. I've typically been listening to seven good minutes i'll leave a link down below just in case you're interested in listening to it um it's only seven minutes long I, I don't really like long episodes so i really enjoy that one and i always like find some of the stuff interesting and then i also put playlists because i do like listening to music um sometimes i like to do it every day and then sometimes it's like the bare minimum i've got to listen to it like a playlist once a week and then I do cycle syncing so underneath that I write down what sort of food I should be eating and um, depending on where I am in the cycle um like what phase I'm in so I'm just going to write down brown rice meat lentils fish and eggs and nuts I believe that's what so obviously I eat what I want but these are the things that I should be like incorporating in my meal planning and then I go on to my habits so these are what I want to track this week and it typically is the same thing I'm trying to get them like really down so my skincare meditation meditation has been such a struggle for me except last week I did really well and I've like habit stacked and I've put it in my morning routine after I do my morning pages and it seems to be going okay so I'm quite happy about that um, and then I put keyboard because I've been uh, learning how to play so I like to practice um, every day and I just like to keep track of that again the same with my Spanish and then a journal and read i know i still have an empty box i don't know if i'm gonna come up with another habit because that's that's quite a lot of habits to like track so i'm quite happy with that um then i have my top three priorities but since i haven't planned the week yet i'll wait and then affirmations so i normally do two or three depending on how much room i've got and i normally go on pinterest to like sort of figure out what's going to resonate with me for that week like if I'm having a really really busy week or a really slow week there might be like an affirmation that I need um this week is pretty it's not busy but it's not dead either so um persistence is key is one I found that I thought that's a good one and I am choosing to have a productive day. I think that's a good one. And then 
I am moving forward. I think that's a good one. Like I'm working on my goals and stuff like that. I think those are good ones. Okay, so what I've got is obviously the week. And then I have my workouts, cleaning, dinners. And then I've been like TV or film as well that I've been doing. I've noticed some of my TV shows that I watch are coming back this month. So I'm really excited about that. So like The Rookie, Will Trent, The Neighbourhood. I think that's it. That's coming back this month. I know some other stuff are coming out. So I'm really excited about that. So um, with the workouts, I write down, um, depending on where I am in the cycle, what sort of like activities um, they're going to be so um, it's going to be quite laid back, quite um, low intensity. So it's going to be like yoga and walking. I don't typically write walk, even though I go for a walk every day, even if it's just 10 minutes. I go every day. But um, these are like specific workouts. So I found these on Fit On which is the app I use for my workouts. It's really good because it's got like a bit of everything for everyone and you can save your favorites. And yeah, I'll leave a link down below in case you want to check out Fit On. They have like the free version, which I use, or then you can pay like a subscription as well and you get more of the things, but I'm quite happy with just the free one. There's a lot to have on the free one. So it's a lot of um, yoga and stretching, like calm, low intensity. I might even try Tai Chi because I noticed that there was a Tai Chi one. So I might do that. I might give that a go. I typically don't um, plan one, plan a workout for the weekend just because I like to be lazy at the weekend. Okay, so now moving on to cleaning. I've been trying to tidy up more and instead of like doing like the whole room, it gets a bit overwhelming. So I just plan a section. Um, so instead of like say I want to clean the bathroom, instead of cleaning the whole bathroom, I'm just going to focus on the bath. Like that's the main one. And if I have time or the energy to continue, then I will. But I'm only doing a section. Um, I want to hoover the floors. And change my sheets. I always change my sheets on Sunday. It's part of my um, weekly reset. And then on Saturday, I can't think of anything that I really want to focus on. So I'm going to leave Saturday blank. And then meal planning so I've already decided what we're having for the this week so hash brown casserole we're having a lot of casseroles <laughs> which I suppose there's nothing wrong with that um we're having burritos Tuesday then we're having a chicken pasta casserole like I said, having a quite a few of them. Thursday. Mm, what are we having? What are we having on Thursday? Sausage and chips. Okay, so now I do TV and film, and I know the Marvels is coming out, so I might watch it. Then there's a film called Upgraded, which 
I might give a go and that comes out on Friday and then on Saturday it's The Masked Singer okay so I've planned all that and now we're gonna get into like the nitty-gritty of planning the actual week so what I do is I go and check my monthly calendar to see if there is anything happening and yeah so I'll see if anything's happening and then I'll write it down and then I just go in and check my social calendar as well and then I just implement all of it into the week it's that easy so um what I normally do is things that I know I need to, to do like I need to order my meds and then I need to collect my meds <laughs> and then there's a hospital appointment at 310 uh, I want to go on a solo date on Thursday I want to shred papers it's basically a long to-do list weekly reflection I like to write it down even if I know it's happening <laughs> does that make sense? messages so on Saturdays I like to like message people like check in with my friends and family I typically do that on a Saturday. I've been um, doing some Skillshare courses, so I will do that on Wednesday because Wednesday is quite a light day. Um, I want to bake on Friday. to think what else I want to do okay this is looking pretty good and then for red is what I use for like filming and editing so it stands out edit weekly plan I'll call it I want to film on Wednesday and then I'll edit on Friday because I don't know how long the solo date's going to be and then I'm going to post on Instagram every day hopefully trying to get in the habit of it I don't it doesn't come natural to me I know some people find it that easy but I struggle with it so yeah this is what I do this is how I plan my week um it does look pretty bare but some days are really busy and other days aren't so it just happens that this is what's sort of like happening so then I put like a star on the things that are like urgent I suppose and then I know what my three priorities are going to be so then my priorities this week will be film hospital appointment and meds 
so yeah what are some of your affirmations going forward for this week i'd love to hear from you leave a comment down below and i'll see you in the next video bye guys Thank you.